We are not trying to ban any media outlet by introducing the Broadcasting Regulatory Authority Act. The president said to incorporate the UK's Broadcasting Code, which is widely accepted as more democratic than this act, into the piece of legislation. We hope to introduce provisions to award relief to victims of injustice and other third-party malpractices via a justifiable examination by the Commission. We have also drafted a national policy that would promote speaking the truth and move away from a media culture that promotes hate in order to build a more moral and disciplined society. This will come into force next year. The latest drama is the Online Safety Act. Social media is also linked to mainstream media. Therefore, such legislation must be introduced by the Ministry of Mass Media, Ministry of Justice or the Ministry of Digital Infrastructure. Sri Lanka is the first country in the world where its ministry that supervises the police is introducing such an act. 50% of the Sri Lankan population exists on social media. We need to designate this as a special zone. When legislation in this area is being prepared, we need to understand that regulation alone is not what is required for the media and communication. It needs a more strong code of ethics. As per the directives of the President, the Broadcasting Regulatory Authority Bill was moved and it was discussed with many factions. Multiple amendments were made to it. It was approved by the Cabinet in a very democratic manner. With the next Parliament session, we will be able to secure its passage and that would solve the issues.